Which game shall I review next? Maybe another world? No. Maybe in this game? Golf? Yeah, that looks like... No, never mind. Hmm. Maybe on... The SNES! has been done. Maybe a PC game, yeah. Wait, what? What's that? Adventure time? Finn and Jake's bad trip? Well, okay. Apparently, this game is made by Crying Man Studios. What kind of fucking name is that? It's a fan-made RPG of the popular animated series Adventure Time, featuring the human boy Finn and his magical dog Jake. It starts off by throwing you into some kind of outer space vortex filled with monsters and... Are those eyeballs? While trying to navigate your way out of this living hell, Princess Bubblegum is magically talking to you, making it even more difficult to see where in the fuck you're going. After that mess of an intro, you're presented with something vaguely resembling an overworld. Floating chunks of land? Oh yeah, okay, I don't see... Why? There's also a clock, which I presume is part of some kind of day and night system. Real original, guys. Hmm, I guess I should be happy they were kind enough to put in a semi-decent menu. Though I have to say, some of these item names though... Wooden stick? The only way to go from here is straight up to some generic looking town called Cookie Dough. It looks nice enough, but all the villagers are strangely talking about the same thing. Apparently some shit went down with these good people's princess, and now I guess I have to go save her from some douche named Lardo. Oh yeah, and they've seen Jake around. This calls for some investigating. After all, Finn is just Finn without Jake. So, let's ask some more locals if they've seen him around. Say, good sir, have you seen a yellow dog around these parts? It's always nice and warm in here. Plus, the food is great. Except for the maggots. Not so great. Yeah, okay, I think it's time to leave. You finally find Jake and the princess in the neighboring town. They're being held hostage by a guy named Lardo, who wants all the butter for himself. Yeah, butter. You beat his minion, release Jake and the princess, and go look for the big man Lardo himself, who apparently fled to some tower. It is here that most of the game's mechanics become clear. Encounters seem to be random in the overworld, which is in strong contrast to the actual dungeons found in the game. Enemy sprites only move when you do, though adding an interesting, be it somewhat minimal, tactical dimension. Dialogues and characters you encounter on your journey are... well, strange to say the least, and it takes some time before the plot of the game is made clear. And even then, some things are left to be filled by the player's imagination. All of these things are, admittedly, somewhat reminiscent of the series the game is based on. Despite this just being a demo, a good chunk of the game seems somewhat finished, or at least passable. There's some side quests and secret rooms, though some areas are a lot more pleasing to the eye than others, leaving the player wanting more consistency above all else. Classic turn-based battles with a good amount of strange and interesting abilities seem to fit the theme well, although character and enemy sprites combined with somewhat lackluster animations make the battles feel repetitive fairly quickly. All in all, the aptly named Finn and Jake's Bad Trip is worth a try, and given some much needed polishing, can turn out to be quite the game. Characters are memorable, and a good attempt is made to make the plot and style fit. Controls are simple, and the menu and basic gameplay complement this nicely. Rough around the edges, yet fun in the most essential of ways. Like this review, or have something to say about the game? Drop a like and or comment. Until next time, this was Steve at from CMS Gaming. Need we say it? 
Need we say how fucking awesome this is? Months later, I'm still fucking giddy about this. We got Golf, we got World Cup, we got Super Mario 3, we got Blades of Steel. This is one fucking awesome game. We played it. It is amazing. It's the shit. We got Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Hero Turtles, not Ninja Turtles. Then we got Island 2, we got Excite Bike, which is exciting. And we got Hook, which doesn't have me hooked, but oh my god, this is just... Awesome. And then we got DuckTales, but there wasn't a game, but who cares? We got all these other things, and we can even play it with this. I love this system so much, because we also had... Where is it? Where is it? I can't even... There! Mario Duck Hunt! It wasn't here. I love this thing so much!